Hi everyone, I'm Teresa. I'm David. We're at Haha ha Tonka. We're south of Camdenton, Missouri. It's in the Lake of the Ozarks area. Castle Ruins, Natural Bridge, a spring. We're Cave. gonna Yep, we're gonna try to show show you what they have here. So we're walking up. The visitor center is more of like a little outdoor information area. They do have an office here. They have a picnic area back in there with shelter and they have restrooms. Ha Ha Tonka is Ha Ha Tonka is one of the most popular state parks. You can tell here's a little what it looks like. Really rough terrain. Yep, there is a lot of history here. We'll get into it about the guy who built the castle that caught on fire. We will talk about what happened to it since then. We will show you all the natural bridge and the spring, which is my favorite. We're gonna run in here and use the restroom and then get after it. All right, before we dive into Ha Ha Tonka, we wanna show you this book. This is one of our favorite books, Missouri State Park and Historical Sites. So flip it open, Dave, and then you get all this information about where you're going. And I'm gonna give Dave credit. We both have read this for the last two or three days. We knew we were coming here, but there is so much information in this book. Dave is just gonna to have to read it or. Yep, this place was founded in 1875 by the Indians when they found a spring. And then uh, 1905, uh, 1903 to 1905, that's when it came into a national forest with the uh, governor Haley. And then a, a guy in Kansas City, bought the land and tried to build a castle, but he died in a car wreck. And then the sons tried to build the castle back, but it burnt in the- in a, The guy, Dave. Uh, Robert M. Snyder, wealthy businessman from Kansas City, first visit area in 1903. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off for a second, take some pictures. I'll be right back. All right, we are up here where the fire tower and the castle is. We're going to do mostly videoing up there and not too much talking because there's a lot of people here. There yes. are trails all over the place. Yep. Choose your tra trail wisely because some trails have up to 700 stairs. Yep. We made our kids do that once and they did not think that was funny. So we're going to start uh, head another way up to the castle ruins and then we're going to go over to the natural bridge and go down to the spring and then we will see what all we find in between. There is limited parking. There's a lower parking lot, but we got lucky. Got one of the spots up here. First thing that you're gonna get to is the carriage houses. Ha Ha Tonka is Missouri's 61st state park. It is located near Camdenton, Missouri. There's a little over 5,000 acres here and admission is free. What you're seeing is the ruins of the castle that owner Robert Snyder, he envisioned it being built high on the bluff and he was gonna use it as a summer retreat. Okay, we got a little break from all the people. Check out that. Check it out. You can tell how the grandeur that if it had been finished, yep. well, I guess it did get finished and then it burned, yep. which was unfortunate. This is a popular place. It doesn't matter what season it is, fall, winter, spring, summer. This is a highlight if you're coming to the Lake of the Ozarks. You see the terrain a lot better when all the leaves are off the tree. There are trails everywhere. Let me turn this. Just magnificent. There are trails everywhere, okay? Here's a trail that showed the quarry trail, the mules that pulled the rocks from up from the quarry. Okay, that is, we do not have enough time to do that trail. We've never done that trail. I think that would be fun to do that trail one time. I just can't get over, just keep looking at the castle. Uh, ha Ha Tonka is a state park that does not allow camping. What else, Dave, you were just mentioning everything else. 1978 after different businesses and stuff like that. Before the fire, the, uh, the boys, the sons after the dad passed away, tried to get some money to you know, turn it into a place where they, people can lodge and stuff retreat. like that. Retreat area and stuff like that. People had money. We are from up here at the Overlook at the castle. 
We're going to get ready. We'll be down there. We're going to go to the natural bridge next, and then we're going to go to the spring. Hang on. You can see the steps we took our kids down. It zigzags down the hill all the way down to the bottom and goes all the way over there. Yep. This is an amazing state park. Mr. Snyder began purchasing land for the castle in 1903. The castle started taking shape in 1905. Mr. Snyder unfortunately died in an automobile accident in 1906. The castle remained untouched until his sons decided to finish at a lower scale in 1922. They used it as a summer retreat. And unfortunately, the castle burnt down in 1942. We're over here at the natural bridge. Just wanted to show you all up this hill, some picnicking. Okay, here's where you enter the trailhead to the natural bridge. Okay, we'll go down and check it out. We just came up off from the natural bridge and now we're heading down to the spring. Dave found some more information he just wants to share with you while we're driving. Now, they had two quarries that they was using to mine rock for the castle. They had 10 different greenhouses built. They had two carriage houses and they had a, a post office. I think this is the post office right here. I think this is the post office. You got to go around the rim, they call it, from the deep canyon, which is like 200 feet down. I'm going to pull in here real quick. Where all these stairs are at. This is where all the stairs are. And this is also where the view of the castle from this side. You can see. Okay, we are going to keep going. We need to go do the spring. There's picnic areas all over the place, and we may come back up here to this shelter to eat lunch. I'm not sure. They got two different shelters I've seen on the map. And they got you like can six tell, different picnic areas. You can tell that the local the locals here they have their walking paths. There's trails everywhere that you can do different connect this trail to that trail and whatnot. And you can tell the the tourists that we don't have a clue really what we're doing, but we kind of know where we want to go. So we're heading down to the spring next. Okay, here we are at the spring trailhead. This is one of the prettiest hikes. I love this. We are down the bluff. The castle is up on top of the hill. We'll show you the water tower. We will show you the spring. You come to a spot where you can turn left and do the island trail. And we've done that trail, we recommend it. We don't have time to do it today. Here's a little shelter where you can eat lunch. Little, little kiosk signs in there. We just love this park, there's so much to do. That island trail goes all the way around so you have water the entire trail on both sides. And here is one of the trails that comes down from the top that has many, many, yeah. many steps. There is one sketchy part of this trail. It's right here. Nope. He, he can't fit there. He's going to get stuck. Oh, my God. Barely. He's in a little wire. He wouldn't have made. This is the fun part for us. Like, we, we like going through things like that, but we do worry about the dog. We don't want him to break a leg. We don't want him to get stuck. We don't want him to get hurt. Had an electric pump that pumped the water. See, it's right there. Pumped the water up 
the hill. And there are some more stairs. While we're walking back to the Jeep, Dave and I are just talking about how often we've been here. We've been here a lot. This is our go-to when we just need some fresh air because normally it's always accessible. When somebody asks us, hey, we have family members that are coming in from Connecticut. We have one day, where should we go? Ha Ha Tonka State Park. That's where we tell them to go. If you got one day, you come here because there's so much to do here. You can hike, walk to the spring. It's on a paved, lot until you get to that little sketchy part where you got to get through the rocks. They've got the castle ruins, the natural bridge, tons of picnicking. You want to bring your own lunch, which is what we're about to do. We just love this state park. It's beautiful. So many trails. Yep. All right. Well, we will be back with you when we pick out our picnic spot. We're back to where you could go onto the island trail. Oh, here's this millstone Dave saw because it seems like the parking lot is full and we were the only people really on this trail, so they must be on the island trail. All right, we're still walking, going to the picnic table. As we're walking, Dave has all this knowledge that he knows and he's just sharing it with me. Well, he read it, but I was like, oh, you got to put that on the video. So we just took the picture of the sun and his father, Robert, is the one who envisioned this yes. and got it started in 1905. And then David remembered that he read. He was hunting in the area prior to 1905, staying in a hotel in Lebanon. And the guy that took him over here to hunt, his Indian person or whoever it was, that's when he found this area. And that's when he envisioned this, uh, what he wanted to build up on top of that 200-foot bluff. We found a picnic area. We're down here by the lake area. Uh, Dave, just go ahead and tell them what you just told me. Well, I read something about Daniel. Nathan Boone was in this area about 100 years prior to Mr. Snyder being here. And Mr. Snyder, when he was here, this lake of the Ozarks wasn't here. So that's the bluff that he was looking at for the castle is going to be taller because you've got to remember the lake level. This water wasn't here. It's just a stream flowing into the Osage River. So it, it's going to be a lot higher up. That's why he envisioned a castle on top of that knob at 900 foot level. We just, we love this park. I'm so happy that we're able to do a video here. I'm certain that we have not done it justice at all, but we've done the best that we can to showcase it. We're, we're getting ready to go head to the Twisted Cat Catfishing Tournament. That's going to be on another video. So check out our playlist from the area. We're down here camping at Lake of the Ozark State Park. We yep. appreciate y'all being with us. Anything the, else? Lake of the Ozarks State Park's on the Niangua arm of the Lake of the Ozarks. And the yep. lake didn't get filled up. And Union, and Union Electric took this ground in 31 and built the dam and started holding water back in, I think, 36. Something like that. So much history right here in this area. It's amazing, really. All right. Anything else, Dave? Nothing I can think of. All right. America's beautiful. Get out and see it. I can scrub if you want to. We'll see you on the road. All right. We're back up at the visitor center because we got some unanswered questions. So we wanted to see, they got these pictures up here of the house that was completed and when it caught on fire. So Dave found out some more information. Settlers and explorers found this place in the 1800s. The first permanent mill at the spring was built in 1830 by Mr. Garland at the lower end of the spring. And then the Snyders found the place, built a 60 room castle the sun finished it in 1922. They fought against the construction of the Bengal Dam and they lost. Sparks from a chimney ignited, ignited the roof, and that's when it caught on fire and gutted it. That's what I wanted to know. Like we were down there eating lunch, and we're like, "How did the how did the fire start?" So we came back up here. We found out this information. Well, the 60 so, rooms. I imagine they had 10 fireplaces in that house. Yep. All right, now this is the end of the video. 